Oh, drop Toby, come here. Drop that, mate. Stag. Oh, shit. Like an eight. <laughs> well, welcome back. We've got a deer down, which is awesome. So we're now back at the beginning of our trip. And uh, on this trip, we've got Callum, Eden, Toby, Ollie, and myself. We've got quite a long walk now to, um, to our first stop, our first hut. So um, I just wanted to take this time to thank all your viewers. We're, we're knocking on nearly a thousand subs at the moment, which is awesome. The channel's only been going a couple of years. So yeah, really appreciate and are grateful for all those viewers. So yeah, cheers boys. Might sound corny, but I'd like to thank YouTube. It's helped me grow a um, successful production company. Many years ago, I was a spearfishing guide in the Pacific. And uh, of course, we'd film the, the trip of the boys. And in those days, I'd get a VHS tape to take home and uh, reminisce about the trip. So, you know, things grew from there and YouTube came along. So made it a lot easier. We started posting videos on YouTube and that helped grow my dive business at that time, which was bloody awesome. And then things progressed from there. And um, well, Matt Watson saw a bit of my footage and invited me on the team, which opened up so many opportunities. It was so awesome being able to travel with Maddie and the team and see a lot of New Zealand and even plenty of trips overseas. Yeah, that really helped grow my passion and knowledge. So at this stage, I was running a dive shop and I was roofing, you know, doing the freelance with Maddie and what have you in, the, in between times. But um, the credit crunch came and work dried up in the roofing industry. And luckily I had, a, had the dive shop to fall back on. The credit crunch had really taken a hold by now and we were actually broke. We didn't know where the hell we were going to get our next mortgage payment from. And so I turned back to the filming and posted a, a clip about the Hawke's Bay, our hometown. And it went viral and then my wife said oh let's go and talk to some businesses and so from there things just went from strength to strength and she took over the marketing and we've got a, a business that employs six staff and uh, we get to work with some amazing clients but it's enabled me now to be able to come back into the bush and do my what's my passion for um, filming and hanging out with my son and getting into the outdoors, but I don't need to worry about making a dollar from it. So it's just nice to be able to enjoy it for what it is and not have any pressure of um, making that dollar. It's probably rabbled on a bit, but all I can say is to any other YouTubers out there or anything you're chasing, if you're passionate about it, just stick with it because you never know where it might take you. And so yeah, so thanks guys for watching. And just like that, eh? we're at the hut. Time flies when you're having fun, eh? Yeah. Ooh. It's really nice when you come in into this like where the creek forks are and it's all sunny and the huts there. Beauty. It's hot. Get the belly on. That was awesome. Might have to steal some of that uh, electrolytes, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Cramping up. Nice big hut. Yeah, it is. It is nice. It is. Really awesome. A bit warm? Yep. <laughs> Three deer scene. Hunting where the stag's at. <laughs> heading upstream from the camp and we'll just head up here and try and glass some of the head basins up here and see if we can pick up a deer for, the, for this evening. 
it looks all right up there, eh? If it's going to stop flagging in. Yeah, there's another one not far away. Sit here and watch that, yeah. And mosey upstream and poke our nose up the next next one too. Pretty out of it. Let's see the chute here. There's been an avalanche come down it. You can see it's smashed all that and then hit all that other side. All the snow yeah, and yeah, smashed yeah, the other yeah. side. Pretty cool. Yeah. Even going back there, you know. Yeah, you've been going back. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah, the wind's going right up that gully. So I just thought we'd pop over this side and sort of glass down, down the next little chute. Doing, boy. Ah, just cruise back to the um, back to the hut and have a couple of beers, I think, because of this this uh, fog's clagged the sun, can't see, bugger all. It's a bit of a shame. That's all uh, the fun of exploring new places, though, I suppose. Isn't it? Yeah. Grass. You're earning a fire lighting badge there, Callum? Oh, I hope so. Time for a whiskey, I think. This one's a good New Zealand brew at Thompson's. Ooh, a bit carried away there. Oh, the hairs on your chest. There's a man string. Must be handy being a whiskey drinker, you know, you take just one hip flask in compared to half a dozen <laughs> beers. Yeah, last me a good few days. Go okay, boy. Good old devil sausages. Don't show your missus, you cook like this, she'll want you to do that back at home. Good stuff, boys. Well done. There you are, mate. Thank you. What's happened to you, Callum? I don't know, they're going to be interesting to put on this morning. <laughs> Bit stiff. Oh. Let them thaw out a bit, I think. <laughs> don't stand on that rock, it's covered in ice. I did, I asked right up. Yeah. Yeah, I was bloody lucky I didn't end up in the drink. Shit, yeah. So we're just up across the creek from camp and we're gonna bust out onto the tussock. Do a bit of glassing there for the morning. We've got a stunning day. Frosty start, but a stunning day. So I hope the wind stays down. That's the big one. Didn't leave the wood. Shit. Man. The other boys have just spotted an animal. Basically in the centre of my screen now somewhere. I don't know where it is, but. They assure me it's there, but too far for us, but hopefully there'll be one up behind us. There's another two. So there's four over there eating. So the boys have spotted about four deer across here now. Too far for us, it's a thousand yards, but... Oh, he's moving pretty quick. He's off. He's catching up with his mate. 
He's gonna fight his mates. The other ones who just did a lift, they come in and fall here. <laughs> Seem to pull across over the room, egg, bro. Thousand yards. <laughs> Look at that, all four in shot now, that's cool. Well, yeah, there's a dominant stag there on the right, eh? Yeah. There you go. What are we going to do, Eden? We're still deciding, but we're thinking about chasing those stags around, maybe. Um, just means a big detour and change of plans for the day for some pretty average heads, but it'll be, be a bit of fun. We're thinking about um, packing up camp and then just basically um, with, with big backpacks going straight up, sort them out and then um, walk along the, the main range, along the ridge there, over to Waterfall Hut, potentially. Potentially. Callum spotted the first one, so he gets to shoot and carry it. <laughs> So boys, we're going to shoot back down to the hut, have a feed, make a decision. We might um, do a day hunt for those stags. We're not too sure yet, but uh, we don't get a lot of time in the day with winter. It's dark by five, so we've got to make the most of whatever light we've got. Our New Zealand Forest Service food bivvy. Enjoy. Yeah. Good night's sleep in there, you reckon? <laughs> hey. So you like good that, you might not wake up from it. <laughs> they might have just dropped down a little bit lower so we can't see them because of the tops of those beech trees. What's the plan, Stan? Oh, uh, well, those, um, those stags seem to have disappeared off that face above the hut here, so... Um, we're just going to press on up and over Rangi Saddle and make our way over to Waterfall Hut. Hopefully find some, some more animals along the way, rather than investing too much time and trying to chase those, those stags. I don't even know if this is the right way. We've lost all the sign of the track. Rock cars ran out a little while ago, so. Bring his saddle, eh? Yeah, bro. Oh, cool country. So we've been going just over three hours since we left the hut today. Um, we're just coming down to the, the forks of the Rangi and the uh, Kafatua. <laughs> Forgive me if I didn't pronounce that right, but um, yeah, so we hit this confluence and then we head upstream for a bit to get to our hut tonight. Looks pretty nice, so eh? Flats. Not a lot of sign in the creek, unfortunately. But we live in hope, you never know. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I see the hut. I see the hut. Smells like the fire's going. <laughs> Is it all right? No, nope, but a bad judgment there. Anyway. I think that's more safe, yeah. <laughs> oh, very cool. There you go. Fuck, you're nice little hut. You bring marshmallows in that big bag of yours, bro? Ah, sure, man. Good stuff. Mm. Well done, guys. So we're heading off up a uh, little creek, Pinnacle Creek, isn't it? It is. Give our secret spots away. showed itself again so we're going to head back down to camp and have a whiskey and a beer. <laughs> Smoke the place out. <laughs> Smoke the ears in there. I just opened it up. <laughs> Classic forest service hut eh? Just hopeless with the old uh, smoking yeah. Can't sleep with the windows closed and no, I suppose not. Vince Chow Main boys. Here's cheers. Cheers. Cheers mate. Cheers. Good stuff. Good walk today. Maybe there's a snag for us tomorrow somewhere. Yeah. I'm starting to feel that, you know, that horrible desperate feeling. <laughs> What's that feeling? A desperate that desperate feeling. feeling. Oh, you've got the monkey on your back, have you? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not coming off too desperate though, am I? Yeah. Need to get <laughs> not, one of those 6.5s and you could have had a shot at one of them today. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's all the, the tempting I need, all the push I needed. <laughs> mm. So a lot of guys probably already know this, but um, if you crack open a window in these old forest service huts, you can have the fire going without having all the smoke bellow in like we did before, but you watch this, if I just close it even one notch, like that, with all the smoke pouring in. <laughs> so we just gotta keep the window open. Just that one, just on the second notch seems to be perfect. There was an entry in the hut book just yesterday that the trampers in here couldn't have the fire going because it smoked them out. Well, the trick is just open the window just a crack. you be sweet as. Are you ready, Eden? Go for it, man. Close it up. Good. It's good, all right. Very good.
Water, we're walking from Waterfall Hut over to Smith Stream Hut. Past um, A6 G4. It's a bit damp today. You ready for the big climb? Yeah, I think so. Ready as I'll ever be. Up and over, getting to 1700 metres today from 1000 to 1700, so 700 metre climb before we drop back down into Smith Stream. Mm. Hopefully, get lucky. And I don't know what it's going to be like on the tops, it's looking pretty clagged in. It actually look like there's patches of blue though. Like. Oh, yeah, it's look at that. Bad. Who knows? We'll get up to the tops, the sun will sun will clear. We'll be there everywhere. Oh, the rain will clear. We'll be there everywhere. We're gonna head downstream here for a bit and just check out these grassy flats first thing this morning. Hopefully pick something up on those before we get on a ridge that goes up behind the hut and uh, head up. Should be about a we'll calculate about four or five hour trip up and over back down into Smith's Creek so yeah hopefully that the weather's going to be kind to us on the tops so that we can at least do a little bit of glassing on the way in this sort of shitty miserable day but Maybe a couple of hours of bush bashing get up onto the tussock yeah the um, weather looks like it's clearing it looks it's a, it's a beautiful morning actually Judging by the topo map, that's the tamest part to start. I'm ready for it. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Dogs are pretty keen on it. You're right there, boy. Oh, it's a fun. Oh, today I'm definitely learning what they are. Once you get into the top half, eh, it's a bit of a punch. It's good though. Got one in the eye. <laughs> Going downhill. <laughs> well, we're going over that one too. We're going over that other one too. Oh, yeah. That one I thought I was getting close. <laughs> That's it. Whenever there's a hill, there's always another one. Yeah. How about that for a view? Sucks, eh? <laughs> So we've been going two hours to break out into the onto the tops basically so which is what we said two hours in the bush yeah it was pretty easy going to start with and then a little bit of leather wood but it wasn't too bad and it looks like a little bit more of a push i can't see what's on the other side of the saddle but it's been starting to sort of we'll get, we'll get out of it soon into the tussock do a bit of glassing here eh first one to spot a deer gets the last bear Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucky with the weather, it's just considering we woke to rain this morning. Surprising. Is it surprising you didn't see one? Yeah. yeah. Not if spiders. We're gonna shoot deer, but we haven't done that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was more of a sightseeing trip than a deer shooting trip. Up that one. Yeah. 
and then there is another one after that. Oh, there. <laughs> there, there is, but it's only 70, I think it's only 70 metres incline from the difference of that one, but we go down a little saddle and then back up. Oh, drop Toby, come here. Dropped it, mate. Stag. Oh, shit. <laughs> like an eight. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't eat an eight. <laughs> yeah, I just came over here and I was just looking and I was like, that looks like a deer shaped rock, you know? Oh. Yeah. 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 I just guessed the range, dialed at 200, just drilled him. He's just sitting down looking at us. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Take that. How about that, eh? Out of the wind. Yeah, he was looking at us, and I was like, I was waiting for him to jump up any moment. And when he did, I was just going to plug him, but I wasn't going to wait for you to get ready with your camera gear and that. Me, and my bloody camera. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> oh, Eden's on the board. Well done, buddy. Yeah, yeah. We just we just finished lunch. We're a little bit of a snack to eat. By knowing, coming up this last little piece. Dear down. Well done. Good came. shit, mate. That's all we came here for, yeah. man. Fucking <laughs> the man. Good shit, bro. Good stuff. Yeah, sorry, I didn't give anyone chance no. to pass the rifle or set up any of Just get one on the ground. Shit, I thought no. I was still plugging it up the other side. <laughs> I knew did you? was up when I saw your old man get down. Did there. you yeah. see me lined up on it, or did yeah, you just I hear I the saw gunshot? Me down. I was like, oh, legs up. Come on, get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good yeah, stuff. Nice clean shot, mate. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's about an eight. Good real hand. Good boy. Good boy. You're gonna have to find I'm it. Out, hey, good, good boy. What was that all about? Yeah, it will go soon, soon. Uh, Big stag. Oh, I don't know if it's big. Oh, sorry. I just saw the dark body. It's a. Uh, How far is it? It's a little stag. Little stag. Or One, two, three, he's like a six or something, yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, looks all right, eh? It's probably like the same as the one I just shot. Oh wow. Cool, eh? Oh yeah. Bit of wind, but not, not too bad. So we're just coming across to um, retrieve Eden's deer and we've spotted another one across here. Nearly 700 yards. Too far to shoot, but uh, pretty cool to see. It was pretty good timing. Looks like they're starting to get a bit of rain coming in. It's forecast for rain, but we haven't seen much of it yet, which is awesome. There you go, eh, right where he in the set. Well, I suppose you get the beer too, Eden. Yeah, I do. Good, good. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Now. Oh, I'm right. Bloody rat, that's so good. Look at that bullet placement. Nailed it, eh? I taught you well, eh? Rim mag does the trick, man. <laughs> he didn't keep, go anywhere, did he? I keep looking at buying a new caliber just for a change, but why would I, you know? Okay, cheese. Cheese. This bloody rain's coming. That was good timing, man. Yeah. Good to do this quick, boy. <laughs> No. Are you going to take the back legs? Too far to carry them. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not taking the back legs. We've still got two days walk ahead of us and we'll take some meat, we'll take some back steaks. Take Might some heart. It. Might get the heart out if it's not got a hole through it. So yeah, that shows the animal a bit of respect. And it's no wonder he saw you up against that skyline up there. Yeah. It was stuck out, man. Stand there like dog balls up there eh, on yeah. the skyline. Then some back steaks grow on trees. Good one. <laughs> Real dead joke, was it? It was, yeah, mate. Sorry. Nice. Yeah, sweet's in good condition. Good stuff. 
Good size ticker. Yeah. Shit, yeah. That'll be a good feed tonight. Yeah, bloody oath. Just like that, eh? Just like that. Yes. Good on ya. <laughs> it's not bad at all. It's not bad. Thanks team. Good on ya. Cool to tick off waterfall hut bro, that's a cool one. Let's go away. I, I like it, a bit of an adventure sort of shit. Mm -hmm. Check that country out. It's magnificent man. Oh, I'm glad I'm up on the tops now. I'm not trying to carry that shit through the bloody leatherwood. Woo! Cool, this is a cool spot, eh, guys? So much country. I reckon we can get up to the top of the main track in about an hour. And then we're over there, bro, looking across to this. You're going, you can't even walk up there. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know. Never done so, anything like it. Yeah. No, it's, it's cool, eh? Impressive stuff. You felt like that was close, eh? I didn't see it coming. I think you're at the top, and there's another top. <laughs> Always another hill. I don't know about this. You're loving it? Yeah, loving it. Scan here, eh? Yeah, looks nice. There's a deer down there. Oh, it's a little stag. He's yours, bro. Show him. Alright. Just um, above that, the closest slip, above the closest screen. Check, there's nothing in the basin quickly. Tripods bug it out on me. We must have winded us. Those fing tripods fucked out on me. Oh, I lost him now. Oh, he's gone. But oh, there's two deer running there. Two deer. It's two deer. Oh, they're both stags too. Are they? Yeah. They've just they've just run over the they must have been just below us here somewhere. Oh, yeah. So it just popped over this brow and Callum and Eden have just spotted a couple of stags and they're just making their way across a face. Callum's gonna give it a go. They're getting out a bit, bit of range though. Okay, for it. You might you might pay to just creep down so you're not shooting through that grass. Yeah. Is it a good one? He, the, they're okay. Should I shoot the back one quickly? Yep, 480. Which one are you aiming for? Oh, they're chasing each other around, eh? There you go. Eden, sorry, you're in my shot now. 
sorry. The back one. Yeah, yeah, back one. Because the wind's going from right to left. They're just playing. They're not. They're not spooked. Here we go. Nah. They're not yeah, looking back at us. I don't know where that went. Nah. nah. That whole thing was a bit of a bit bloody chaotic, eh? Eden, you should have had a shot at that. Nah, I've, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have felt confident even shooting him. So you might as well just give it a crack, you know? I feel sick now, <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, well, it happens to the best of them. Get out. It's a long shot. This last hill, it's kicking my ass. Wow. The scotch mist coming in, boys. What's that, mate? The air temperature's dropped a bit. There you go, boys. It was some sort of a trick. <laughs> Seen better days, eh? Yeah. yeah. So where are we, Eden? Um, just above Smith Stream and uh, uh, Waterfall Hut. Do we remember the name of this one? It's like G416 trig or something. A6 G4. A6 G4 we are. Yeah, we're at 17, 15 metres, 1,715 metres above sea level at this trig. Pretty cool. What's that? Is it on autopilot? Yeah. Oh, cool. So we stopped and had a bit of a smoker on the top here. And now we're heading off down to Smith Stream Hut. So we've come up and over from the trig heading towards Smith Stream. It's another 2k. Stays on the dock sign two hours to the Smith Stream hut. We've probably got about another half an hour of light, so yeah, we've been glassing these faces and seen bugger all. We're gonna get a boogie on now, get to the hut, warm up. <laughs> have a beer. Yeah. Eden's got a beer waiting for him. Shame we don't have a few more, but a few few cans popped on the way up. <laughs> Always been up ahead because I had a little bit of coverage, so I got a job done. Pay the wages. Got the fire going for me, boys? Oh, we're just about to. It's too hot for a fire, isn't it? Shit, yeah, it's warm, all right. right. This hut quite, is one tidy hut, man. You like this? Someone, someone's came and gave it a good spruce up. Oh, cool. We'll definitely leave it like that. But... Awesome. First time I've been to this hut too. So clean. Yeah. Fire starters even. Cool. <laughs> oh, well done. Yeah. Been here long? No, no. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Um, buddy, I want to make sure I've got some good candles and light. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> don't, don't hold me up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad day. Hold on, oh, I'm not ready. Oh, not ready. Just man. wait, just wait. Ah. Well, Eden. <sighs> Been looking forward to this. Oh, good stuff. Well done.
Need to save that. God, yeah. Not That's only good. did you spot the first deer, you got to shoot them as well today. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at that shit. He had a bit of ticker. Okay, for the last day today. Everyone's a wee bit slow on it this morning after a big day yesterday. One sugar extra shot for me this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Callum enjoyed a bit of sleep talking last night. <laughs> I don't know what he was saying, but something like, I've lost my pack or I've or get off the track. <laughs> oh, shit. There's Eden's contribution. <laughs> oh. Suckers are at work. Oh, bloody good trip, boys. It was bloody good. It was awesome. It's good to get into the back box and tick off a couple of those huts, eh? It's good, yeah. to, good to get into Waterfall Hut and that. See some new country. Get onto the tops for the first time for me. Yeah, well done, Callum. It's bloody awesome. Good stuff. So we're going to finish off here. We've got a five hour walk out. We might pick up a deer, so if we do, we'll we'll, um, we'll make sure we show you. But uh, yeah, we're signing off now, so thanks for watching. Cheers for inviting me. Had, had a good time. Learned a thing or two off the Grundies. Yeah, I'll definitely be back. Good shit. Settled business, eh, bro? Yeah. Oh. Got to square up. <laughs>